Good morning. Today I just want to start chatting to you about some um, some important issues. Um, we all need some motivation from time to time. Life life is difficult. Um, life is not easy, and sometimes life happens. Um, I, over the next few days, I actually want to discuss this book, um, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. This is an absolute classic. Um, over 15 million of these copies have been sold, and I don't know if you've ever read it, read this, but if you go to your closest library, if you don't have one, get one of these books and just read it. It's quite quite interesting. Um, so I want to over the next few days, I want to talk to you about the seven habits. And so today, I want to talk to you about habit number one. Habit number one is be proactive. Be proactive. What is it to be proactive? Proactive means that I anticipate what's going to happen. Um, I'm making plans before there's a crisis. Be proactive means that, let's say you're a student and you study and you've got an exam coming up but you know or, or you've got an assignment that's due and you know something's going to happen. Like, let's say it's your 21st birthday party and you need to get this assignment in. So be proactive and start working earlier. Uh, don't cram everything in and do it in the last moment and, and just be proactive. So proactive means I'm planning ahead. I'm, I'm taking everything that can happen into consideration and I will not be caught by surprise. There's a lot of people that, whose lives are reactive. Um, we try and fix stuff after it happened. We try and, and, and do things to, to make things better after it happened. But to be proactive means that I'm not being caught by surprise. I'm not going to be like, whoa, I don't know this is going to happen, and freaking out. You know, the, 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 we go into a, a fright, a flight, a freeze, or a freak mode when stuff goes wrong. But when you're proactive, you are planning for things that might go wrong. Um, so if you are planning, let, let's say you work at a place and and things are not looking great and, and you know that might, maybe sometime you, you get to a place where you might lose your job. Instead of being reactive and when you lose your job, you start looking for a job and start planning what am I going to do now, you start looking already beforehand or, or making other plans. So, so be proactive. So, so the first habit of being highly effective is just be proactive. Don't be caught by surprise. So for your studies, like if you know that, that something's going to come up, you're going to go on a holiday and you still need to submit your assignment, start earlier. Submit earlier so that you don't have to, to come back and, and have to, to act in damage control. You can do it. Everyone else can do it. My grandmother always said that if other people can do it, you can do it. So today I want to share my grandmother's wisdom with you that's saying if other people can do it, you can do it. So if you're struggling with your studies and you're feeling like, I don't know what to do, I can't do this, I can't cope, I want to say to you that there were so many other people, so many other students, some of them had, had, had terrible issues. Um, we even had a student that was blind and she graduated. If a blind student can graduate, if I had a, a student a while ago, uh, a, 87 year old gentleman English was his third language and he graduated if if they can do it you can do it so let's be proactive let's be habit number one and make it your habit to to not react to stuff not be reactive but be proactive before things start happening you've got a plan in action you are ready for this to happen. You can make it. You have a future. You have a goal. You have a plan. Don't give up. Remember, when there's a race, we never remember the name of the guy that came second. We always remember the name of the winner. You are a winner. You are the one that can do it. You've enrolled for a course many before you have completed this course. 
I know the struggles of, of even being a distance student. I just completed my master's degree distance. I just had to complete 200 hours of practical where I had to go and see clients for 200 hours while working full time, while being a dad, while having a family and in this all I tried to have a social life. But I made it. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's plan. Let's plan to be successful. Let's plan to make it. Let's plan to be proactive people and not reactive people. Next time I'm chatting to you, we'll talk about the second, second habit of highly effective people. Have an awesome, awesome day. Remember, you are a winner. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Make the best of today. Because you are a champion. You're the one that's going to make it. So, smile. Take a deep breath. Remember, you're quite safe here. And if you ever get stuck, just send an email or a phone call and say, Help! We are here to help. You rock. Big time. So, for those of you that were just wondering again about the book, it's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. This is a classic. Make sure that you get this book and read it a few times. This is awesome.